Welcome back to the Relius Reviews. Today's review is focused on 2021's movie entitled Snakehead. And the official synopsis of Snakehead is a Chinese immigrant gets caught up in an international crime ring of human smuggling while attempting to make a better life for her family. And before I give up my review, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what I should review next. And when it comes to Snakehead, I felt like Snakehead was a pretty good movie in my opinion. And here is just my review on this movie. This movie to me, it definitely did have a lot of good and interesting characters that you would either root for or you was 100% completely against. Suya Chang as the main character of Sister Tay, I think she did a good job with just leading the movie from the beginning to the very end as well. Sister Tay is someone who enters America doing some pretty shady jobs that involves humans trafficking and she has to pay off this debt of almost like $60,000 because that's how much it cost her to travel here and everything. But she has one mission on her mind and that is to find her daughter. And throughout this movie, she is forced to endure and just face tackle on some pretty crazy things, including organized crime from the Chinese mafia. Jade Wu as Dai Mei. She was one of the main characters in this movie and she was someone that I would consider the Don of the organized crime family. Like everyone knows her. She is the type of person that you do not screw over because if you screw her over or betray her in any type of way, she is probably going to put you, your families, maybe even your friends on some t-shirts just because. And her and Sister Tay's um, relationship on screen and everything was interesting as she did like Sister Tay for not being a weak individual, but being able to like guard on her own two feet when it came to different things. Song Kang as Rambo, Han from Fast and the Furious. Now this was an interesting character because Han, he was a crazy individual. He is just getting out of prison after serving over 20 years for killing his father. And he tries to act as if like he is the boss, like he is like the Don and everything. But everyone knows that Dai Mei is a true boss and everything. And he and Sister Tay have some serious issues in his movie. Like their relationship is not peachy. Um, the story itself, the story to me was pretty interesting and it was straightforward and everything. It tackled a lot of just different topics as well, such as the American dream, human trafficking, organized crime, betrayal. Like this story definitely did have a lot in my opinion, which is a good thing because there was some, there was a few different elements that kind of surprised me. And also at the same time was a little bit predictable because you just had a feeling as if like this was going to happen regardless and the story was pretty interesting the cinematography was good as well and the color scheme for this movie as this movie definitely did have like a nice color scheme the colors being somewhat pale in comparison and to me i think it worked for this movie with how it looked on screen and this movie definitely did have a lot of different fighting scenes a lot of different like crazy fights, crazy shootouts and killings and everything. Like I felt like some of like the crazy fight scenes were pretty interesting and some of the few shootouts as well was somewhat interesting. And I would say maybe the first things that I did not enjoy about this movie would probably have to be was that some of the plot lines was predictable as I said. Like you just knew that some things was going to happen when watching this movie that was not preventable and it wasn't annoying but at the same time it was just like another thing that I did not like about this movie would probably have to be maybe the ending itself now the entire movie was pretty good and I felt like the ending was not bad but I felt like the ending was just pretty sad for the character of Sister Tay as the one thing that she was trying to accomplish on her journey to America and New York, she somewhat completed it, but she didn't go 100% all the way. 
like I'm not going to spoil what happens, but but I would say despite those small negatives, I felt like Snakehead was a pretty good movie in my opinion. It was pretty interesting and I did like it a lot and how I would rate Snakehead out of five stars. I would probably rate Snakehead maybe three and a half stars out of five. So I would say thank you for watching and until next time, everybody, goodbye.